Hello. The reason you're seeing this video and not the latest episode is because there were some rendering issues, timing issues, blah blah blah. Big editor excuses, basically. Uh, we apologize for this crap because, well, it fucking sucks. So, instead, I'm going to talk about little easter eggs or dumb Thacket facts about Vanilla. Specifically during this video, the original script of Vanilla. If you didn't know, there was an original script that I, myself, Jordan, wrote before I had Nick come on and help write for Vanilla. It was a while ago, like a long time ago. So, myself, as I said a second ago, I don't know why I pointed that out, I wrote the original script back whatever, whenever, I can't remember. I'd written three different stories or machinimas to make a while back, and Vanilla was actually going to be the last of the three to air back when I wrote them, but somehow it made it to the front. I think it's because having Nick jump in on the script and changing stuff, and we both enjoyed the character so much, and I just think when he and I came together, we just made the story a lot better, and just the characters just were awesome and colorful. So I think that definitely helped. But when I first wrote, when I first wrote it, the characters in the script were a lot different. And just to remind you that I was the only one writing, yet again, I don't know why I keep reminding about this shit. But, I, and again, I'm very glad Nick and I both took the task to rewrite the characters in the story. I just believe the original concept wouldn't have turned out as well as it was. Uh, so Nick was definitely a good addition to Vanilla. And I hate giving people credit for anything, so... <clears throat> but yeah, Vanilla turned out way better, in my opinion. Uh, so, the original plot of the story was there was a cow bomb, and it was going to blow up the Horde base. So, when we were rewriting the story, we kept that in just as kind of an Easter egg. Obviously, at the beginning of Season 1, the cow bomb and the chicken bomb. Uh, but the characters were a lot different. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's start with the Horde. Um... Vaughn was more or less like Leon is now. Uh, like, Vaughn is, had the same personality as Leon is in the current show. He was crazy and over the top, and he was just an asshole, and he shit on people that were quote, below him, who he thought were below him. Nick and I thought it'd be way more interesting if we made the human more crazy than the undead. You know, it makes sense for the undead to be creepy and crazy and just an asshole. So we thought, let's get the old fuck stick to be the it just it just sounded way funnier and I think it worked out way better that way having Leon be the crazy one not that Vaughn isn't crazy or anything Tartunko was originally very stupid uh he, he was like the dumb dumb of the show he was just going around asking questions and shit and but never stood up for himself and whatnot uh Vaughn and Tartunka in the original script were very much like Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King like, uh, Tartanka would be all like, Hey, what if we climb up the tree and, you know, we could spy on the Horde, or, sorry, spy on the Alliance and get a better vantage point. And then Vaughn would be like, that is so stupid. But hey, what if we climb that tree and get a better vantage point to spy on the Alliance? And then Tartanka would be like, oh, wow, what a great idea. It would basically be that back and forth, but I, that we figured would be kind of boring after a while. Um... They had that dynamic, which obviously, again, probably wouldn't have worked very well. Uh, Vaughn and Tartanka were going to be the buddies that were never seen apart in the show, but that kind of split. It be kind of became Mojo and Tartanka, kind of. They seemed to be together most of the time as, like, buddies, even though they, <laughs> like, all hate each other. Uh, speaking of Mojo, he was never going to speak. Uh, he was just going to grumble and complain the entire time about Tartanka and Vaughn being stupid. Mojo was originally going to be the cook of the Horde team and did, like, nothing else. So the Horde seemingly was a lot different back then. Also, it's a, there's a little Easter egg when Vaughn and Tartanka go into the Alliance base in Season 1 and find Mojo eating the Alliance food. Oh, hey, they have better food here. You are our cook. Just a little thing we added that no one probably understood but Nick and myself because it was just he was originally going to be the cook and then after that you never see him cook anything so it was like just a little thing uh 
and add something from Mojo here. He, he was not uh, going to voice until I met Tim Miller when I started working at this old folks home with him. Uh, that was like the original, like, he kind of created the personality for Mojo, and I just think it worked out very well. And uh, to get back to Tartunka, our friend Marcus also changed Tar uh, Tartunka quite a bit because he decided to take on the psycho idea where he started going crazy throughout the season. And it just worked really well. Um, now for the Alliance, Vaughn, I, Vaughn, as I said earlier, was going to be like Leon. So Leon was a lot more like Vaughn-ish. He was more or less there and just kind of a dick, but Leon overall was just an old veteran who wanted to retire and enjoy pissing off the Horde, specifically Vaughn. Uh, he thought of it as the perfect retirement. He was just by the, the lake, he could do what he wants, and the Horde was really stupid, and they couldn't figure out how to foil his plans or whatever. His orders were to stay put and guard the mountain, basically, in the original script, and Leon still wanted company and kept his last soldiers being Fizz and Peter. That was basically Leon. Kind of glad we changed his character, because <laughs> I think he's way more lovable now. Uh, 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 Fizz was a lot different, probably the most... Actually, he, he was the most different. He's definitely a lot different than what he was compared to the others, anyway. Fizz was originally supposed to be a warlock, and he was supposed to be very evil. And, like, more or less, the wizard came from Fizz. Like, Fizz... The wizard never existed in the original script, and Fizz was the one being, like, evil, evil, evil. He was definitely a little evil gnome. And he would hatch schemes to kill Leon so he could leave Alteric and, like, fight in real battles instead of retire. He hated the idea of staying there, so he wanted to kill Leon. Uh, Fizz openly despised Leon and tried to kill him quite often. That was, like, kind of going to be the back and forth between them. In fact, he tried... He's the reason that he... He kind of tries to get the cow bomb to blow Leon up and the Alliance base. Instead, it backfires and it, like, hits Fizz and blah, blah. Whatever. And Peter was the exact same. No different. Seriously, his character didn't change at all. He's the exact same as he was in the first script. Almost every line he says is actually pretty close from the original first three episodes, or first four. I can't remember. No, I think it was the first three. Uh, what else? Uh, well, he was just an awesome character. We just kept him because he was just funny. I like the idea of this stoned elf just running around, you know what I mean? Uh, and I remember uh, when I wrote the script I like a week after I wrote the script I met Mr. David who voices Peter and I almost knew exactly who would play the character because David was just he fit the role it, it, he's just perfect for that role and I was just like David definitely please voice and he was more than happy to do it and I still think to this day he's like woohoo I'll voice I can't believe no, none of the voice actors are tired of us yet but uh, just, it was like the perfect thing. I was just like, yeah, David definitely should be that character. Uh, I technically have the original episode made and somewhat completed. I think I will release it at some point, even though it's not finished and it's not fully voice act or voice acted. And half the voices are just me rough drafting it. Like I was voicing everything, not everything, but some of it, but still uh, kind of cool to look back on in my opinion. But I'll, I'll, I'll think about releasing that. Just as a thing. Again, I, I f fucking sorry that the episode didn't come out. It was definitely a thing, my issue. I was having issues with the rendering and stuff, and just timing was all off. Um, So I thought I'd make this little... I don't know what the fuck this will call. Or what we'll call this, but... There's more, I think, to give out there. Uh, what else? I don't know. Uh, uh, hopefully the episode will either come out this week or next Monday. It will definitely come out by next Monday, but I might be able to get it out within this week, just so you have it. If not, I hope you bear with us. And uh, just uh, stop whining, you little baby. <laughs>